What's going on guys, this is Jake and in this video I'm going to be walking you through step by step showing you how to use Taskade. So if you're not already familiar, Taskade is a software that allows individuals and teams to increase their productivity by managing their projects as well as workflows all in one simple app. You can do a lot of cool things with this software. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can actually do all of it. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, guys, so we're at the taskade.com website now. And in order to get started, we need to go ahead and create an account. Now, in this particular case, I already have an account. But if you don't have an account, you can go ahead and click sign up with email here or you can sign up with a pre-existing Google account. So in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and log in and I'm going to go ahead and continue with Google. So once you go ahead and create your account, you're going to get brought to the Taskade dashboard right here that looks like this. So the first thing I want to go ahead and do is show you a couple of basic settings you can do to kind of customize the look of your dashboard. So the first thing you can go ahead and do is come up here to the top right where you will see your user account right here and you'll see your username right here and you can go ahead and click on profile and edit profile information like your username and email and stuff like that. But what we're going to look at here is we can see that we can select the dark mode and we can enable it on or off. So we can see if I turn it off, everything goes white here and gets a lot brighter. Now, I personally prefer dark mode, so I'm going to keep dark mode on. And then we can notice right here that the background here is a blank black. And if I wanted to go ahead and change the background, I could come down here to the bottom left and open this up right here. And we can see that Taskade has a lot of different uh, photos that we could go ahead and set as our background for this. Or we could go ahead and select blank colors like this. Or we can select random, and what this will do is it will randomize the photo each time we go ahead and log in. And if we wanted to go ahead and upload a custom photo, we could do that by clicking upload right here and we could upload whatever we want as the background. Now, in my personal case, I prefer to just keep things simple. So that's why I have mine set to black. So now let's go ahead and get into how Taskade actually works. So Taskade is pretty much completely centered around things called workspaces right here. So you can see right here in this account, I've created two workspaces here, one for YouTube and one for a example client agency. So in this particular case here, different workspaces can be different businesses or different large products and projects that you have. Maybe you want to go ahead and manage um, some personal project in here, like say YouTube. So you create a workspace for that. And then maybe you have another workspace for something at work or something to do with business. So workspaces are essentially separate entities inside of Taskade. So inside of workspaces are things called subspaces and projects here. So we can see that inside of the client workspace, I have two subspaces, one for web design and one for marketing. So in this particular case, we can see here inside of this client business, there's two parts of the business. So there is the web design and there is the marketing. So in both these particular instances, you can go ahead and create a subspace for that. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that now. So let's say I needed to create a third subspace for another part of this business. If I were to hover over the client workspace and click on new subspace, I could go ahead and let's just say this part of the business is consulting so if i wanted to create a new subspace for that we can go ahead and select a color for it and then we just click new subspace and then once we have the, the subspace created we can go ahead and invite different members to it that we already have inside of our workspace if we want to so speaking of inviting members now what we're going to go ahead and do is i'm going to show you how members work really quick and if we come up here back to the client workspace and i click on invite people we can see that i have two other members inside of this workspace with me. We have the example web developer and we have the example marketing manager. And if we go ahead and open this up, we can see the different roles that you can assign to people. So we can see that we can make other people admins, which means they can fully configure edit projects, templates, and manage workspace settings. Then we have editors here that can just create and edit projects and templates, but they cannot manage the actual workspace settings. And then we have viewers that can only comment and chat in projects, but they can't edit anything. So we can see in this case, the most common setting you're probably going to be using is editor for most team members. So in order to invite people, you can go ahead and just, if they already have a Taskade account, you can go ahead and put their username in here. And if they don't, you can go ahead and put in their email here and they will get an invite link. And then they just click the link and they are signed up and they can go ahead and be in your workspace. So the cool thing about Taskade is that when you have separate workspaces, you can have separate members in there. So we can see here in the client workspace, 
we have the web developer and the marketing manager in this workspace. But if I come over here to the YouTube workspace, which is more of a personal thing, we can see that I am just in here alone. So nobody else will be able to see what's inside this workspace. So you can go ahead and have workspaces for solo projects or workspaces for group projects. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at how Taskade actually works inside of a workspace. So inside of workspaces and subspaces, you have things called projects and projects are essentially what all of Taskade is built around right here. So projects are going to be different things that you are either trying to get done or you're trying to organize, or maybe you're just trying to take notes on something everything is going to be done within projects. So if I go ahead and go inside of the client workspace and open up the project here called active clients, we can see that this is an example list of what would essentially be the active clients here for this particular business. So we can see we have two different sections of web design clients and then we have marketing clients. So the purpose of this project is essentially just going to act as a organizational overview so that way myself and everyone on the team can keep track of all the clients that we have and need to manage so when you're inside of a project here you can go ahead and do a couple different things with it so if we come up here we can assign a due date for a project so if this was a particular project that needed to be done in a week we could go ahead and assign it a due date of april 7th and just click set and let's say we wanted to assign this particular project to certain team members, we could go ahead and click assign and we could assign this to either yourself if it's something you need to do or you can assign it to a particular team member here. And then you can also come in here and tag the project if you want to. So in this particular case, I don't have a tag created. Let's say I wanted to create a tag here so I could go ahead and click new tag. We could just go ahead and select any color, name this tag urgent here so I can go ahead and create this tag and we can see that now we've went ahead and assigned this project as urgent so that way everyone in the team knows to go ahead and prioritize this particular project so if we come down here we can take a look at how we can go ahead and actually edit projects right here so if I come down here and click add block we can see that we can add a checklist or we could add a bullet point list or we could add a numbered list or we could just add a blank paragraph here and each one of these different blocks serves a little bit different of functionality so it pretty much just depends on the look and feel that you are going for and when you come in here you can go ahead and just edit any of this and if I were to just go ahead and just start typing the cool thing about Taskade is this works very similar to Google Docs so if I type this and I click away any other team members that are actually on this project right now will see this updated in real time and then they could come in here and edit this and change this and type something else and it would go ahead and instantly update so I could go ahead and see that as well. Then when you're typing down here for your checklist or your bullet points, if you go ahead and click enter, we can see that it goes ahead and seamlessly creates us a new bullet point. And alternatively, besides hitting enter to create a new bullet point, you can go ahead and click tab to create a subheading inside of this. So if you wanted to create a little bit of a hierarchy inside of here, you can go ahead and do that. And then you can click on these three dots right here to the left of the titles to go ahead and drag and drop everything around. So let's say I wanted this on top, so I can go ahead and drag this on top. And I can go ahead and move this right here. So everything in here is very easy to go ahead and organize. And then let's say that your uh, project feed is getting really cluttered and there's too much um, stuff showing up and it's really confusing you what you can go ahead and do is click these arrows over here and you can go ahead and fold these in and what this will go ahead and do is pretty much just get rid of all of these and it folds them all up like this to where all you see is the title so we can see that this makes everything a lot cleaner so let's say you're the web developer here and all you need to see is the web design clients you get rid of everything you fold everything up and you go ahead and just can see the web design clients right here and then you can come in and unfold them as well and let's say I wanted to go ahead and not just assign an entire project to somebody, but I wanted to go ahead and assign a particular task to somebody. I could come in here and click on assign. And then we can go ahead and see that I have already assigned this web design client to web developer here. But let's say I wanted to also assign it to myself. I could go ahead and click that right there. And just like the same functionality you can have with the entire project with due dates, you can also assign an individual due date for this specific one. So I could go ahead and set that if I wanted to. And you could also come in here and attach files to a specific task right here. So if you wanted to go ahead 
and attach, in this particular case, let's say important files that are needed for this web design client, you can go ahead and attach them right here. And then we can also come in here and click on these three dots and we can also do different things such as set a priority for the task. So we can go ahead and set this is let's say a high priority task right here. And what this will allow us to do is now if we go ahead and click on high priority, it will go ahead and search this entire project for anything else that is tagged as high priority. So let's say I were to go ahead and come down here and set this priority to high as well. And then I click on high again, we can now see that everything is filtered out based on high priority tasks. And this works for pretty much any hashtag. So you don't have to just use low, medium, or high. You could literally type any hashtag and you could go ahead and sort everything by that hashtag. Another thing you can go ahead and do is come over here and you can actually go ahead and duplicate these tasks if you need to or you can go ahead and indent them, or you can go ahead and click complete. So let's say that this web design is finished. I could go ahead and click complete, and then this is all done. And you can see that this bar right here will go ahead and fill up, and we can see that over here in the chat box, it will show that we completed this particular task. So now I wanna go ahead and get into the different layouts that you can actually have within Taskade, because this is only one. So if we come up here at the top right, we can see that we are working with a list right now. We can go ahead and change it between a list, a board, an action, a mind map, or an org chart. So if I were to go ahead and change this project over to a board, we can see that it now looks completely different. Now, this is something that is cool about Taskade because you can go ahead and look at the different projects within any of these five settings without actually changing anything. So I could go ahead and change this to an action if I wanted to as well. Now, in this particular case, uh, certain ones are going to look better in certain ways. So in this particular case, I think this looks better as a list, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you an example of what the other uh, settings could look really good on. So if we go ahead and come back here and we open up the web design subspace, we're gonna go ahead and open up an example client site design. So let's say this is a particular website that needs to be designed. And what we're going ahead and doing is we are tracking every task that needs to be completed in order to go ahead and design this website. So these are the different tasks right now that need to be completed. So let's say right now you can see that we have assigned a web developer to this particular website design. So let's say right now he is working on designing the logo. What he can do is he can go ahead and drag over the design logo task over to the in process tab right here. And then when he is done designing the logo, he could drag it over to completed and he could go ahead and check it and that would mark it as completed. And then he could go ahead and drag over what he's working on next. So this is an example of when the board layout would work very well. And if we go ahead and come back here and we open up the marketing subspace right here. Now, if we go ahead and take a look at an example marketing client, we can go ahead and open up the mind map setting so you can see right here we've assigned the marketing manager to this particular client and we can see that right now he has a overview of what he needs to do to go ahead and fulfill for this particular client so we can see up here we have facebook ads and then we have uh, the different things he needs to do to go ahead and create facebook ads and then we have an seo campaign and then we have google ads so we can see that depending on the type of project you're trying to create a different setting will be optimal now this particular project might also look good in an org chart so if we come over here we can see org chart this particular project also looks good in that but this particular project might not look as good in a list or an action so it all depends on uh, which layout you prefer and it's going to vary a little bit depending on the particular project so now i want to go ahead and show you the chat function right here so if i go ahead and open up web design once again and we go ahead and open up this project right here we can go ahead and see this chat section over here so the cool thing about Taskade is that it actually lets you chat with all of your team members within a particular workspace in real time so you don't have to open up other things like discord slack or email or text messages you can go ahead and just chat with everyone that's online right here so i could just type in hello and we can see that everyone else inside of this particular workspace would be able to access this chat and talk in real time we can also upload files to this chat we can insert emojis and etc etc and then another cool thing you can actually do here is go ahead and start a call so if we wanted to have a live video call right here we could select start a call and we could have a quick call right inside of the taskgate platform without having to switch to anything else like zoom 
which is definitely pretty cool. So now I want to show you how you can go ahead and create templates, which is something that will help you save a lot of time. So let's say in this particular example right here, as we saw with the example marketing client layout this is definitely steps that would be taken pretty much for every single marketing client so let's say if you have different projects that are very similar what you can go ahead and do is create a template so that way you don't have to recreate this entire project from scratch you can go ahead and start with a template and then edit a few different things so in order to do that you can go ahead and open up the project and if you wanted to save this as a template you could come up here to the three dots and you could go ahead and select add to templates but in this particular case, I've already done that. So in order to access your templates, you can come over here to templates and you can see we have marketing template right here. And if I go ahead and open this up, we can see that we have the template set up right here. And then I could come in and edit it Let's say this project is a little bit different and perhaps they don't want Google ads. They only want Facebook and SEO. So we go ahead and just delete these right here and then we are essentially good to go. So templates are definitely pretty cool. And if you don't have your own templates that you want to save, you can actually use some of Taskade's templates. They have a lot. So if I were to go ahead and create a new um, project within this subspace here, we can see that it lets us create a blank one. It has our saved marketing template up here. Then there's a couple uh, basic ones that Taskade has already set, like the board and the mind map. But if we come over here and select more, we can see that Taskade actually has a ton of different templates that you can go ahead and use. And they're all categorized based on different categories right here. So depending on uh, maybe you have a gaming related project or maybe it's uh, more of a design related project or it's purely planning or it's like related to a startup business. There's a lot of different templates that you can go ahead and start with right there. So from here, if we go ahead and come back to the main dashboard of Taskade, at this point, we pretty much went through everything except this left side menu right here. So this just gives you some basic functionality. So right here, you can pretty much search for anything within all of your projects here. So let's say I just were to go ahead and search for the high priority projects right here. We can see that all the high priority projects within any of my workspaces would show up right here. Then we have all of our recent activity that we have personally done right here. And then if we go over to all of the activity right here, we can see that we have activity from not just us, but everybody inside of the workspaces. And if we come over here to calendar, we can see we have a calendar right here that shows us different tasks and goals that we have. Tasks will show up here once we go ahead and assign them a specific due date. So we can see here that in this particular case, we have two specific uh, tasks that are due on April 7th. And then we have starred tasks right here. So any projects that you star can show up here. So if you have a particular project you're trying to uh, track closely. And then we have my tasks right here. And this will show you all the tasks that are specifically assigned to you. So overall, Taskade is definitely a pretty cool project management tool. It kind of bundles a lot of different services into one and it's very easy to use. It really only takes like 10 to 15 minutes to go ahead and pick up and learn how to use. So it's definitely something I would recommend trying out. It is completely free to use. They do have a premium plan as well, but the free plan is free indefinitely. So with that said, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave it a thumbs up and to subscribe to this channel for more videos. And I will see you guys in the next one.